Hallelujah, hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. In today's prophetic title says, this is very specific. Hallelujah, I had to write down this title. It said, this is, this is very specific about the conversation you had with this person. This is very specific about the conversation you had with this person. One thing, God laid this word in me for somebody because there is there are authors that are fighting you to lost something that god is preparing for you hallelujah concerning your conversation i want to use this opportunity to welcome you if this is your first time in the name of jesus welcome to prophetic blessings with pastor Bazi. god bless you all family for in jesus mighty name hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah so in today's prophetic word that is talking about this is specific concerning a discussion you had with this person and the reason why god laid this word in me to record is because god loves you so much and the devil wants to use your ignorance for you to lose something special one thing i've learned with god is that the bible says our people my people perish lack of knowledge lack of wisdom a lot of people perish because lack of knowledge and lack of wisdom so the reason why god asked me to record this particular prophetic was because god wants you to get the knowledge and knowledge alone is deliverance praise master jesus you know whenever you are being trusted by someone with secret by certain thing and you use their lifetime secret like exposing it to each and everyone, exposing, exposing it to, 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 to everyone, and it comes to their notice or to their knowledge. At that particular point of time, you have lost your trust with that particular person. So one, when somebody trusts you to share a problem with you, know that they are fine, fine, find something worth trustful in you to trust you with, your, with their problem, that you can keep it in secret. One thing, one thing that I've received a lot of deliverance, not by myself. There was a time something was disturbing me. Like there was a time something was disturbing me. Like I was like crying and asking God, Father, help me. Father, help me. This was something personal disturbing me. I never knew what to go about it. Then I was looking forward to share the problem with, with, a, with someone like a spiritual father. Hallelujah. I just wanted to share the program, uh, the, the problem with someone that I don't know. Like, I was like, I really need to share this, pro uh, the, this problem. Then one, one pastor just came up my mind, somebody that I know very well. I was like, let me share this problem with, with uh, the person. So the day I wanted to contact this particular person, when I called this man of God, I said, hello, Papa, how are you? As we were just talk talking, I said, how are you? He just started complaining. I'm not fine though, man of God. He was like, well, man of God, I've been going through a lot. The man started mentioning cases. That means the man started confessing the problem I wanted to share with him. Like his own case was worse than my own. I look at myself, I say, at your age, at the age of 40 something, you are complaining me, me that I'm still growing with God. Oh, I just said, God, thank you for deliverance. Thank you for knowledge. So I almost exposed my problem to someone that his own cases was worse than my own. That was how I received my deliverance. I noticed from that day that whenever I find in myself doing anything that Jesus Christ is not glorified, I fight as possible to fight it. I know the gate of youth is very difficult. A pastor at the age of 50 can tell you, I, I, let me just, a pastor at the age of 60, 70 can hold the mic and say, and say, I've never talked with, say for 10 years, I've not admired any woman, I've not looked at woman brains, I've not looked at woman nyash, I've not thought of a woman. A pastor at the age of 70 can say that, accurate, I would testify that yes, he's speaking the truth. But a young boy at the age of 30 cannot hold the mic and say, and for the past five days, five years, I've not think of a woman, I've not looked at woman breasts, I've not looked at woman hips, all these things. The moment that young man is saying, He's just trying to live a photocopy life because one, the gate of youth, they need to fight you. Even if you look a woman or not at your age, there is a gate that is open to you that the gate is already closed to that papa at the age of 70. 
That is why people understand, fail to understand. So I receive my deliverance that, oh, at, at my age, if I can be able to find this number of gates at my age of my youth, what about this man complaining to me? So his own case was worse. I was the one now to advise somebody, somebody that I was trusting to share my problem with. So I've learned a lot. Praise Master Jesus. So I've learned a lot. There are some battles that when you see people fall into them, don't judge them. They were passing through their process, the, uh, uh, their process in life. So the reason why the Lord gave me this prophetic word was that there is somebody that is about to trust you. Since this man shared this problem with me, I learned. And I've never told anybody. I kept it secret because he was talking to me because he knew that I would talk to him. Praise Master Jesus. So there is someone that God want to keep you, maintain you. God don't want you to lose anything because somebody is trusting you with something big and God don't want you to, to lose this particular blessing. Hallelujah. So I'm praying for someone, wherever you're watching or connecting under the sound of my voice, that may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you, give you knowledge and wisdom to be able to keep anything in secret that nothing will go out, that will expose. Hallelujah. Oh, tarnish your reputation. For in Jesus' name, amen and amen.